What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another food service truck and vlog. It's been quite a while since I've uploaded a video. I've got a couple of old videos that I need to edit and put together and upload for you guys. But um, I just, I've been kind of MIA and that's really due to uh, the fact that I've been pretty much on workers comp and on injury, not doing much of anything. Here we are approaching one year of being here doing food service. And uh, you know, I, I told myself I'm gonna get by the whole year. I'm not gonna hurt anything. I'm gonna take it easy. I'm gonna not try to overdo it because I don't wanna injure myself. I don't wanna cause any issues now or issues that'll develop further on down the road. But uh, like a month or so ago, uh, what happened? I don't even know what happened. I was just running a route, Thursday route to Arkansas. You know, I was kind of trying to bust it out and you know get back. I had some extra stops uh, to where I wasn't gonna have a bunch of time to drive back because usually I have an hour and 40 minute drive back. Uh, so I need to make sure that I had that hour and 40 minutes, at least two hours left on my logs to drive back. And I guess just throughout the day, just I have a lot of, of uh, pizza places, a lot of big bags of flour, a lot of heavier stuff. You know, I was trying to load that up and everything out of a pup trailer that wasn't even loaded very well. So I guess just all that mixed together, something I twisted the wrong way or something, and I just completely messed up a disc in my back. So I've got a bulging disc. It's bulging pretty good. If it inflames enough, it you know, it's like presses on my sciatic nerve and gives me a lot of pain in that sciatic nerve. Um, so I've been doing doctor's appointments, had an MRI done, uh, which is obviously how they found out about the disc, and uh, been kind of... Uh, doing very minimal things hey you see i'm outside here it is monday um very nice day outside but i'm going to be doing something a little bit different which is great for videos um great for you know the experience just to say hey i've i've been able to do that i've, I've experienced this part of the job and tonight i'm going to be shuttling a trailer uh to jonesboro arkansas because we've got our main warehouse here in springfield and we shuttle trailers to different little drop yards or shuttle sites in different areas. One of them is in Jonesboro. I know we've got one up towards Kansas City, um, Lenexa, Kansas, you know, different areas like that. And I've not done shuttle before, so it's gonna be it's gonna be a different experience. All right, ladies and gentlemen, our trailer was ready really early. I wasn't set to leave out until about 10 o'clock tonight, and uh, head out to Jonesboro, Arkansas here, and. Uh, yeah, they texted me. I was sleeping. Yeah, you know, like I said, I slept over the weekend. Uh, slept in. You know, slept last night. Got up about six o'clock this morning, and um, you know, then they finally told me what I was going to be doing this week. And uh, yeah, so I wasn't supposed to be leaving out until ten o'clock because typically loads aren't ready that early. Uh, but this one was ready at like five thirty. So dispatcher texts me at 5.30 saying, hey, you can, your load's ready if you want to go ahead and take it as soon as you can, or as soon as you want to. Because as long as I get it there before they have to go out on their route, because what I'm doing is I'm taking a trailer that's loaded for the route and taking it to the shuttle site, dropping this trailer off and bringing back an empty trailer. And the person that's running the route that's got this load, they're gonna take this trailer and do their route tomorrow. So uh, it's kind of, a, kind of a neat little system that we've got going on as far as that goes. I mean, it's, it's essentially, it's the same thing as line haul at LTL companies, you know, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, you know, it's, it's kind of a, it's kind of a cool thing. You know, I, I got to get there, I got there about seven o'clock, 7.20, and you get to see all the drivers rolling in, pulling the doubles and stuff like that. Nice to be back in the truck by myself and to be able to kind of film videos again. So yeah, it's gonna be dark this entire time because we're not set to get there until 12, 15 in the morning. And we drop the trailer, turn around, come back. So I won't be back until about five, five or 5.30 in the morning. Got my CB, handheld CB with me tonight. But yeah, you know, it's a, it's a different experience. So, so far I've been able to kind of experience each side of food service from delivery driver to working in the office and, and getting all that paperwork sorted out and putting together our route bags and stuff like that and now doing the shuttling and yeah so it's kind of a kind of a cool little opportunity now this car right up here on the right definitely 
texting or doing something, man, because it keeps going off into the shoulder. It keeps veering off over into my lane over here, speeding up, slowing down. I don't know what's going on with this car, but I would love just to pass it, but it never gives me the chance because as soon as I get right up on it, it speeds back up again. But yeah, look, look, look at that. Like, come on, guys, texting and driving doesn't does not need to happen. Like they've been doing this for a while. As long as you don't slam into me over there. Man. What is this person's problem, dude? Like, y'all, you guys are seeing all this crap too, aren't you? And it's not just me. Alright, so we stopped at that Loves earlier in Willow Springs. For a bathroom break we just crossed over into arkansas a couple minutes ago an hour and a half away from our destination in jonesboro this is where it gets all curvy and windy and just yeah a lot of, a lot of this this is pretty much all it is from really, really the border until we get to jonesboro but yeah it's been a pretty peaceful drive so far nothing nothing happening no no deer no nothing going on so I'm just gonna keep at it. I'm glad I've got this truck with these headlights though, because it's dark out here. It's, I mean, there's hardly any street lighting at all. So it makes it a lot better with these LED headlights. drive Jonesboro is actually not a bad city I've only been here at night because we've driven through here going to like Miami Florida and stuff like that and, yeah it's a it's pretty large figure out uh, pull over for this ambulance I guess he's going oh, he's going that way too so yeah but yeah, figure out what we've got going on here because I don't know anything about uh, this drop yard or whatever it is. I guess the ambulance is the ambulance is done now. Code three emergency is completely called off or something. I don't know, it's kind of it's always weird when they do that. They'll have lights and sirens and stuff, and then all of a sudden just completely cancel it. I mean, it's late enough now. There's not a, a whole bunch of traffic, so I don't know. Or maybe there's a hospital over there. I don't know. Okay, we got to take ourselves a left here. I'm assuming we can go left here, right? Yeah, looks like it. <coughs> oh, something in my throat. Apparently, my throat's getting dry. I don't know if there's even going to be anybody here. Or what? Or where I'm supposed to... This says that this is where it's at, but... Oh, there is PFG trucks in there. Huh, okay. I guess I'm gonna have to find somewhere to turn, unless I can enter in this way. This is the drop yard, huh? This is not a lot of room in here so this 
this is where all of our new trucks have went. <laughs> uh, I guess I gotta find somewhere to drop this thing off at, man. I'm assuming that's an empty that I'm gonna take back. I guess I'll park this in this hole right here. Just gotta reset myself a few times, but we get it. We're professionals, right? A few little obstacles in the way, but no big deal. Make sure we don't hit anything. Give this a little bit of a turn here. I'm here like four hours early. This route's not going to be leaving for until like 4.30, so his trailer will be here, ready to roll. That way all he has to do is hook up a tractor, pre-trip it, get on, on his way. Take a look around make sure we're good all right yeah so here's that yard it's definitely it's interesting for sure the way they've got this place set up so i wouldn't want that to happen to me so oh we got one of these these landing gears huh dropping a trailer you always want to put away from the truck Pull our release. Hoses. Gonna go, we're gonna get that trailer over there. So. Of course, we checked all that, the tires and everything on that trailer. We're good to go, so we're gonna have to hook up to this next one, pre-trip it. We're gonna go ahead and get this one dropped. Put it, put it in drive, it really helps out. Careful, always gotta, I try to be as gentle as possible with stuff because I don't want to break fifth wheels or or anything. Wait a second, make sure it's not gonna sink. I'm good to go. We're gonna move over right next door. Get ourselves lined up with this trailer. And with some of these automatics, you gotta be really gentle with the throttle or else it'll slam into things. Just like so. A little tug test. Everybody looks okay. No hoses look broken, nothing, that's all good. Side turn signal works, rear clearance works, tail light. Yep, it's very empty. Always wanna double check, there's no returns or anything left on these trailers. Got our lights, nice little loves mud flap here. out my 30 minute break 
regained all my hours. I've got six and a half hours left to drive for the day. And I'll be back in three hours and 55 minutes, it looks like. So, same trip back, same exact way, man. Except it's just a little bit later at night. So I should be back at 5.15 in the morning, even before the sun comes up. So that'll be nice. Go back home, go to bed. I mean, this really ain't too bad, man. Like, I, I was kind of, I didn't think that I'd be able to really stay awake. Uh, but I really haven't been too, I haven't really been tired at all, honestly. So, at least for today. I don't know how it's going to be tomorrow or you know, trying to sleep during the day. I mean, I did it today. Um, but I don't know how it's going to go tomorrow. Because tomorrow, my trailer probably won't be as early as it was today. I'll probably have to leave out more towards 10 o'clock, I would say, tomorrow night. I just We just all got lucky today because they had the, uh, the trailers loaded up. That trailer I just dropped off, it said it had like 841 cases on it and like 16 stops. But uh, I don't know, man. Like, I don't know. Looking at it, like, it was the, the whole right side of the trailer wasn't even completely full. And usually if you've got 800 cases, you're going to have, a, you know, at least a couple of pallets on that side. And I don't know, man. I mean, there was a lot of, there was a lot of refrigerator product in that trailer, but I don't know, maybe there's some small boxes in there somewhere, but. All right, boys and girls, it's three o'clock in the morning. We are two hours away from Springfield. I just, it's kind of crazy because typically on a Tuesday morning, because yeah, this is Tuesday morning. I've got this. I'm, I'm gonna be completely messed up this whole entire week on figuring out what day it is. Because I left on Monday night, and it's Tuesday morning now. So Tuesday morning, I would be starting out on my route in Iowa to go and finish out my my route on Tuesday. So it's kind of crazy to think about. I don't know who's doing my route this week, um, but hopefully they're enjoying it. I mean, it's not like I said. But, you know, a couple of videos back, it's definitely not a terrible route. Well, this is so freaking weird to think about to me. Like, eight, eight and a half hours ago, or like eight hours ago, I already saw all this stuff going the other way. And now, here we are, coming back, eight and a half hours later. It's just crazy, because I'm, I'm so used to doing a three-day route to where I drive up somewhere, you know, do my deliveries one day, stay the night, go to the next place the next day then come back the third day and just doing this and driving what, 451 miles and you know doing that in eight and a half nine hours almost with that with that 30 minute break and the trailer swap and all that uh, it's just it's so weird because everybody is getting ready or just left on their route now like I usually would be leaving at 3 in the morning all the food service people are, are leaving out on their routes everybody you know, traffic traffic was kind of winding down when I left and now it's ramping back up again for people going to work this morning because it's just about 5 a.m. I don't know dude I'm gonna be honest I enjoyed that shuttle route so kind of looking forward to doing it the next couple of days and uh, who knows I might be going to different places the rest of the week I don't know I could be going to Oklahoma City you never know what they've got for me just depends on what uh, what they need covered so yeah that's gonna end the video though I mean that was a full day guys it's full it's kind of crazy full day smashed up into this video might be a little bit longer might be uh, really on average with what I usually do don't know yet but we'll see when I edit it I'm gonna get this truck taken back get the trailer backed in park it post trip and just go home so we all know how that goes uh, so that's why I'm just gonna go ahead and end it here but anyway guys feel free to hit that uh, thumbs up button for me it really helps out the channel feel free to subscribe it is free to you guys and very very helpful to me and uh, look forward to seeing you all in the next video so take it easy